Hello everyone, my name is Cindy Bergoff and I'm the Program Coordinator here at Walker's Point Center for the Arts. Hello, my name is Isaiah Corona and I'm an Art Educator here at Walker's Point Center for the Arts. Hola, me llamo Oscar Quinto Samudio, uno de los maestros de arte aquí en Walker's Point Center for the Arts. We thank you for signing up and joining us for Youth Empowerment Month. We are excited to have this change from a week of programs to an entire month of activities. This is intended for the entire family to work on together. Muchas gracias por ser parte de nuestro mes de empoderamiento juvenil. First of all, you should have each received your art kits. Each week we will send a new video out and in those videos we will tell you which supplies to use from the kits. En primer lugar, deberías haber recibido tus kits de arte. Cada semana enviamos nuevos videos y en esos videos les informaremos sobre qué materiales usar en esos kits. While we have sent you quite a bit of supplies, we are also encouraging you to recycle. Si bien le hemos enviado bastantes materiales, también lo alentamos a que recicle. What are some supplies you can recycle, Yusenia? Magazines, newspapers, advertisements, wrappers, maps, uh, fabric uh, scraps, and even old pieces of artwork. So tell us in the comments what items you're recycling in your project. Now, let's look at what supplies we need to get ready for today. We're going to need paper, glue, collage materials, recycled materials from home, and scissors. For this activity, we will be trying to manifest new and positive change in our lives. For this activity, we will try to manifest a new and positive change in our lives. To manifest means to take an idea and make it into physical reality. Manifestar significa tomar una idea y convertirla en una realidad física. We will create self-portraits of where we are using the ideas of what we see as positive future and representing it in our picture. Crearemos autorretratos donde usaremos las ideas de lo que vemos como un futuro positivo y lo representaremos en nuestra imagen. For example, for my self-portrait, I wanted to work on personal growth. I want to grow more plants, so I use flowers as my freckles. In addition, I want to travel more, so I use caves and plants to make my hair color. Por ejemplo, Cindy quería trabajar en el crecimiento personal. Quiere cultivar más plantas, así que uso flores como becas. Además, quiere viajar más, así que utilizo cuevas y plantas para pintar su cabello. What are you representing in your self-portrait, Yesenia? ¿Qué ando representando en tu autorretrato, Yesenia? I'm a big animal person, so I've added all my favorite creatures. Um, cow, bats, moths. And is that bat riding the cow? It's actually taking him to a fun place. They're friends. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so, for our first step, this is going to be really important. You're going to be answering the following questions. So, el primer paso, van a responder a las siguientes preguntas de reflexionar. You can write these questions down or draw them on paper. Pueden escribir esas preguntas o dibujarlas en su papel. What do you dream of for your future? ¿Con qué sueñas para tu futuro? What qualities in yourself can you work on during the quarantine, such as patience, kindness, etc.? ¿En qué cualidades puedes trabajar durante la cuarentena? Paciencia. Amabilidad, etc. What do you value, such as family, art, the environment? ¿Qué valoras? Familia, arte, medio ambiente. If you're having trouble answering the above questions, think about this. Si tiene problemas para responder las preguntas anteriores, piensa en esto. Who do you look up to, and what makes them special? ¿A quién admiras, y qué es lo que lo hace especial? Second step, look through your materials and decide how you want to represent these answers. Segundo paso, revise sus materiales y decida cómo quiere representar estas respuestas. To represent means to use an image to be a symbol of a character or a quality. Para representar significa usar una imagen para ser un símbolo de un personaje o calidad. 
You may choose a color to represent a quality or a picture to represent something that you want to be better at. Puedes elegir un color para representar una calidad o una imagen para representar algo en lo que quieres ser mejor. Third step. Start by cutting out shapes and pictures from your materials. Tercer paso. Comienza a recortar formas e imágenes de sus materiales. Think about how you might want to build a self-portrait. Piensa en cómo te gustaría construir un autorretrato. Start placing the items you cut where you would want them to be glued in the end. Empieza colocando los elementos que recortas donde quieras que estén pegados al final. Play around with where you want these images to be placed. Juega con el lugar donde desea que se coloquen estas imágenes. Fourth step. After much of your space is filled in, start gluing your pieces down. Cuarto paso. Después de que gran parte de su espacio esté lleno, comience a pegar sus piezas. Fifth step. Let your pieces dry. This is important. Quinto paso. Deja que tus piezas se sequen. Esto es muy importante. After it is dry, use a marker to go over your picture to add details you didn't have before. Después de que se haya secado, use un marcador para revisar su imagen y agregar detalles que no tenía antes. What would you want to draw on your picture, Yesenia? ¿Qué gustaría dibujar en tu imagen, Yesenia? I'm probably going to add a nature landscape to my background because, you know, with the quarantine, I miss being outside and miss hiking. Well, like that. When you have completed the activity, have a conversation with your family answering the following questions with each other. Cuando hayas completado la actividad, conversa con tu familia y responde a las siguientes preguntas. Feel free to pause the video because we will have the slide with the questions. Siéntese libre de pausar el video porque tendremos una presentación con las preguntas. First question, what is something important about you that you want others to see? Primer pregunta, ¿qué es algo importante de ti que quieras que otra gente vea? What draws you to these images? ¿Qué te atrae de estas imágenes? What are the first steps you will be taking to manifest what you are representing in your collage? ¿Cuáles van a ser sus primer, primeros pasos que van a tomar para manifestar lo que están representando en su collage? And how can others support you? Y cómo otros te pueden apoyar a ti. Finally, if you have any questions regarding the activity, or you just want to share a photo of your projects with us, all of our staff members are available on the Remind app. Finalmente, si tiene alguna pregunta con respecto a la actividad, o simplemente desea compartir una foto de sus proyectos con nosotros, Todos los miembros de nuestro personal están disponibles en la aplicación Remind. Use the hashtag Art at Home when sharing your artwork on social media. We look forward to seeing you all next week. Use el hashtag Art en Casa cuando comparta su obra de arte en las redes sociales. Y esperemos verlos la próxima semana. Bye bye.